Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to talk about a HRT interview question. So in case you do not about know about HRT, so I mean the full form of HRT is Hudson River Trading and it is a high frequency trading firm which was started by X Tower Research employees. They are headquartered in they are headquartered in United States and at the moment they are one of the best high frequency trading firms. They are at par with Jane Street, Citadel and Virtue Finance. They are also one of the highest paying companies in the world. I mean a fresher salary can go as high as 600,000 US dollars in HRT and if you imagine like this is a very big amount of money because it is because a fresher at HRT can be making the same amount of money which is made by a Google a staff, a staff software engineer at Google or Facebook so yeah and recently I've been checking like uh, what they have been asking in the interviews what is the current you know trend of questions which they are asking so I did find some of the interview experiences on lead code and I'm going to discuss I mean uh, in in upcoming series of videos I am going to discuss some of their questions so one of the question which was recently asked was this that you are given an undirected graph that is represented by its adjacency matrix you have to return whether or not it is possible to add no more than two edges to this graph in order to make all the degrees of nodes even Keep in mind that in the resulting graph, there should be at most one edge between any pair of nodes. Apart from that, you cannot add any self edges as well. That is, uh, you, if there is a vertex V, you cannot make an edge from V to V. Okay. So like they have given us few examples as well that uh, this is a graph which is given to you, which is represented in this, in this figure. And this is how the adjacency matrix looks like. Uh, basically in this it, graph, adjacency matrix the graph ij equal to false means that there is no edge between the vertex i and j and graph ij equals true means that there is a edge between the vertex i and j okay so you can see here that this is a graph with four vertices one two three four and this is there is an edge between one and two two and three and three and four okay now uh, in the original graph the degree of this vertex one is only one in case you do not know what the degree of a vertex is so basically degree is nothing but the number of edges which are connected by that vertex so in this particular uh, graph there is only one edge connected to this vertex one which is connecting these two vertices one and two so the degree of one is one the degree of two is two because they are these two edges one two and two three then the degree of three is also two because these are these two edges between 2 and 3 and 3 and 4 the degree of 4 is 1 because there is only one edge between uh, 3 and 4 and now you are allowed to add only at most two edges okay and you have to make sure that the degree of all the vertices become even if it is possible to do so then you have to return true if it is not possible to do so you have to return false and you cannot add any self edge and there should be at most only one edge between two vertices that is if there is a edge three and four already between these two vertex three and four you cannot add one more edge so in this case we can add one like there are only two vertices one and four which had uh, degree odd so we have added this one what edge between one and four which is denoted by this red color and you can see by after adding this edge uh, all our constraints are satisfied that is all the degrees i mean the degrees of all vertex has become even and there is no I mean we have only added one edge and there are no multiple edges between any two vertex so in this case you have the answer would be true similarly there is this example in this case also like there in the original graph there were only two edges between one and two and three and four uh, the degree of all these four vertex vertices was one that is odd so we have added these two edges denoted by a red color and uh, degree of everything all the vertex became even Similarly, there is this graph here. It is not possible to like the vertex one and three have degree odd and it is not possible to make the degrees even of for all the vertices. Like this is the graph which is given in the input and the return value would be false. So this question is present on lead code. I mean, someone has posted in the interview discussion section. I will paste the link to it in the description section of the video, but let's see how we can actually solve this problem. So this problem is, uh, easy to solve I mean all you have to think about is this that let's uh, try to consider different cases like let's say in the graph all the degrees I mean all the vertices had degrees e even so in that case like there is no vertex with odd degree okay if odd odd degree let's say odd degree vertex count denotes the number of vertices which have degree odd in the original graph so if it is zero then obviously your answer is true okay 
so in this case your answer is true definitely let's say answer true let's say if there was only one vertex which had degree odd what would happen in that case so if there is only one vertex then like there is only one vertex whose degree is odd apart from that all other vertices have degree even so to make can you make uh, the vertex or the degree of this particular vertex even as well so actually it is not possible to do so because all the only rule which you should remember is that if you like add two odd numbers the result is always odd sorry even if you add two even numbers the result is always even but if you add an odd number and an even number the result is always odd okay so due to this particular condition or due to this particular property if there is only one vertex whose degree is odd we cannot make its degree even because let's say if you added one edge between this vertex which had degree odd and the the other end point of the of this particular edge would be a vertex whose degree is even right let's say there is this odd degree vertex let's denote it by odd and we add any edge between this particular vertex and this vertex which had degree even so in that case what would happen that now the degree of this vertex would be incremented by one and the degree of this vertex will also be incremented by one because we have added one edge between them so now the new degree would be for this odd vertex would become even and for this even vertex the new degree would become odd right so now you are back to the same step like uh, when you added one edge between these two vertices again you have one vertex which has degree odd right and now if you now if you try to make the degree of this particular uh, vertex even it is again not possible to do so because you will again add one edge the only thing which we can do is that add one edge between this vertex and any other vertex and all the other vertices have degree even so we will again come back to this step only i mean we we will be back to this that the new degree for this particular vertex will become even but the new degree for the other vertex whose degree was even will now become odd so in this case the answer is actually false and in fact if the count of vertices whose degree is odd is a number is basically an odd number right so in that case the answer is always going to be false due to this particular property i mean you can try this for 3 5 and 7 like if this odd degree vertex count is odd then the answer is always false okay i mean you can try this and you can like think about like if let's say there were three vertices whose degree was odd there is no way that you can actually make the degree of all the vertices even because because again if you will add any add an edge between this odd degree vertex and any vertex whose degree is even that part this degree would now become even but the degree of that particular vertex whose previous degree was even now will now become odd right then you will be again left with three vertices whose degree were odd and there is nowhere like you can add edges between these three vertices so that you make all the uh, basically if you make to make all the degrees even okay so that's why if this odd degree vertex count is odd then answer is always false now let's see what happens if the odd degree vertex count is 2 okay and another uh, thing to observe is that if the odd degree vertex count is greater than 4 if if this is greater than 4 then also the answer would always be false because we can only add at most two edges right and there is no way that if to add two edges to make the degree of all vertices even if 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 the number of vertices whose degree if the number of vertices with odd degree is greater than four in that case there is no way that we to make all the degrees even by just adding two edges okay because two edges are far are very less and so we have to only consider two more cases where the odd degree vertex count is true two or four okay what would happen if this is two and what would happen if this is four is it what would be the answer in those cases right so again that is also easy to solve and let's save there let's consider this case where the count of vertices with odd degrees two so they are basically two vertex whose degree is odd right let's call them vertex v1 and v2 let's call them vertex v1 and v2 so 
to make the degree of all vertices even if there is no edge between this v1 and v2 in that case what we can do we can just add one edge between these two vertices and both the degrees would become even right because the count would be incremented by one i mean the degree count would be incremented by one for both these vertices and any odd number plus one would always be even right but if there is already an edge between these v1 and v2 then we can't do this then is it still possible to uh, basically have i mean make the degree of these two vertices even yeah i mean it still can be done and it can only be done in this way that let's say this v1 whose degree is odd and there is this v2 whose degree is odd all other vertices have degree even so you only have to find a vertex i mean this vertex v which is not v1 or v2 and if there is no edge between this v1 and v and this v2 and v so all you have to do is add one edge between this v2 and v and add one edge between v1 and v so both of these the degree of v2 and v1 would be incremented by one and they will become even and this vertex whose previous degree was even we added two edges so its degree is incremented by two so again the new number would be even so all the vertices all the basically the degree of all vertices have now become even so only in these two cases the answer would be true otherwise the answer would be false okay and similarly when there are four vertices whose degree is odd in that case let's call them that those vertices v1 v2 v3 and v4 okay so the only thing which we can do since we are only allowed to add at most two edges we have to actually see if there is somehow somehow we can connect all these vertices together to make the degree even so that can only happen if there is no edge between so actually i will show you here i have already written this so let me jump to my solution so the, on this lit code page actually i have also commented my solution so here is my solution which i have commented so we were talking about the case where the odd count of vertices with odd degree was 4 okay so in that case there is only one way the answer would be true and that is let's call those four vertices with degree with odd degree v1 v2 v3 and v4 and it can only happen i mean that we can only make the degree of all these vertices even if there is no edge between either v1 v2 and v3 v4 so we connect v1 v2 and v3 v4 all the degrees would become even because the degree of all the vertices would be incremented by one or if there is no edge between v1 v3 and v2 v4 so in that case we connect them okay or if there is no edge between v1 v4 and v2 v3 in that case also we can connect them otherwise the answer would be false okay so here in my solution i have written all the cases basically that if the number of vertices with odd degree in graph is zero answer is true if the number of vertices with odd degree in graph is or is an odd number then answer is always false okay if the number of vertices in graph with odd degree is two so answer is true only if there is no edge between those two vertices those two odd degree vertices or if there is an even degree vertex in graph which does not have edge with both of these odd degree vertices otherwise the answer is always false and the other case where the count of odd degree vertices is 4 i have already explained that so here is my solution also which is present on lit code so it's simple basically you had to implement this solution method which returns to and takes this adjacency matrix as input so here we are doing some error checking like if the adjacency matrix is empty i mean basically if your graph is empty or in that case we always return true otherwise this represents the number of vertices in the graph i mean the size of the matrix represents the number of vertices in the graph the matrix is and uh, is a vector of vector of bool okay and as i already explained you like in this adjacency matrix if the value at index ij is true it means there is a vertex between i and j sorry there is an edge between i and j okay so here is the count of vertices here is a vector which basically will store the degree of each vertex okay so basically this degree i represents the degree of vertex i and this is the count of vertices whose degree is odd okay so and here i am also storing all the vertex vertices whose degree is odd okay so i'm iterating over this matrix so for each for int i equal to j i less than vertices and for int j equal to j j less than vertices so basically i am iterating over each column for each row in the matrix and if the if there is an edge between i and j i increment the degree of i okay and 
when i come out of this particular uh, loop this nested for loop that is when I, when i have explored all the edges of a vertex i i check what is what is its resultant degree if its resultant degree is odd which i am checking here then we have to increment the count of vertices which has odd degree if at any moment of time our count has become greater than 4 we directly return false because there is no way we can make the degree of all vertices even with by just adding at most two edges otherwise we are basically storing the vertex whose degree is odd in this odd degree vertices vector okay now when we have explored the entire adjacency matrix we check if the number of odd degrees is zero basically if the vertices with odd degree is zero we return true if it is an odd number we return false if that count is four then i'm these are the four vertices v1 v2 v3 v4 i'm uh, basically taking we have obtained this v1 v2 v3 v4 from this particular vector or degree vertices vector which and that's why we were actually storing all the vertices with odd degree in this vector because we need them later okay so these are this v1 v2 v3 v4 i'm checking if there is no edge between v1 v2 and v3 v4 so we can connect v1 v2 and v3 v4 by adding two edges and all the degrees will become even otherwise if there is no edge between v1 v3 and v2 v4 we can connect v1 v3 and v2 v4 and again degree will be even otherwise if there is no edge between v1 v4 and v2 v3 we can connect them as well and the degree will be even if none of these conditions is true in that case we you cannot make uh, basically there is no way you can add two edges or at most two edges to make the degree of all the vertices even okay so in that case we'll return false if there is only uh, basically if there are only two vertices with odd degree we f obtain those vertices v1 v2 from this odd degree vertices vector we check if there is no edge between v1 v2 we can connect them together and return true if there is already an edge between them then we have to try other possibility and that is this that we iterate over all the vertices we check if i mean this vertex v should not be equal to basically if this vertex i is not v1 v2 and if there is no edge between this vertex i and vertex i and v1 and vertex i and v2 okay so basically we are trying to see if there is any vertex in the graph with even degree and that vertex i should not have an edge bet between v1 and i and v2 and i so in that case we can connect v1 with i and v2 with i and all the degrees will become even okay in that case we will return true otherwise we return false so i think that is the entire solution you can copy my code from here and run it so thank you guys for watching please do not forget to like subscribe and com comment and i'll see you all next time